Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to start up, although I often find myself like hard to commit or like go through with a lot of these series that I start, uh, but we'll see how regular it goes. But I've been getting a lot of requests, uh, specifically from Gabadina, but you can call me Gabby here on YouTube. Make sure you check her out. Uh, she is in the candle community and she was asking for, I was mentioning how I had a lot of empties lately and she was mentioning, why don't you do like a weekly uh, post burn recap type of video? And I was like, you know what? Like the reason I normally don't do that is because I have to massive collection I kind of just burn like whatever like I think it would be up to like 20 candles in one week because I like burn multiple candles throughout the day at any given time um, so I rarely ever have empties but then also if I do burn something it's just like there's so many of them that it's kind of hard to round up in one video but I will try my best to sort of like recap kind of the memorable ones or the ones that I've actually finished or emptied throughout the week and do a weekly recap video and that's what today is um, I think I'll try to do them on Sunday and as we'll cover just the week that had just finished prior to that Sunday. Um, and I think I'll just make it the like candle banter series, but it'll be like the weekly candle banter and it'll just be like what uh, I've been burning. And if there's also any other random like I guess news updates or anything like that uh, that I feel like talking about, then I can shove them in here as well. Uh, but I think this week we'll just, we'll keep it simple and just do a weekly recap of what I've been burning. Um, I had a few empties lately just because BBW has been kind of boring lately, so I've been able to actually go through my collection and finish some of them um, and that's what we'll do today so if you're interested then stay tuned so yes uh, the first one we have so a lot of these um I already tossed the empties because I was in the mindset of not keeping them for a video. But then when I became got like a few requests to do them, I was like, some people were just like, why don't you just talk about the candle without actually showing it? Uh, so some of these won't be a full empty or will be like the second backup version I have of it because I have already tossed the candle. And the first one that I finished was a Salted Ocean Air. So this is the backup version that I have of it. This one burned flawless all the way down to the bottom. It was excellent. It has the thick rope-like wicks as you can see here. Um, and they're sooty at the beginning, uh, but then they kind of like, like temper out towards the middle and then they're kind of like just fine all the way down to the bottom and it was just like a hot burn just like all the way down to the bottom and it totally did fine this one's fresh ocean mist warm summer winds and beach musk this was in 2019 i think i got a fresh seawalk and then the salted ocean air and i loved both of them uh this one still comes back there i believe it's in like a that like tile looking is it the Paradise Cove collection? But it's supposed to be an online exclusive this year. Um, and I love this piece. It's the first year it came out. It, oh my God. It's like aquatic, but also like hot and steamy at the same time. But like steamy in like a, like a, like a shower steam kind of way or like a hot summer day. There's a saltiness to it too. Um, what does it say? Ocean mist, summer winds, and beach must like really doesn't tell you anything. But it's a salty, aquatic, ocean air, and ocean like steam or mist type of fragrance. I just like imagine myself in a hotel room and I just like stepped out of a very hot shower with the steam coming out. And then you walk out to the balcony and you get like a ocean mist coming by and you get that salty water in there and salty like water notes or salty air water, salty air and salty water notes like wafting into your room. Uh, but there's a distinct like warmth or a hotness that also evokes like a summer day i don't know it just reminds me of like fun like beach uh vacations or something like that um but there's like a slight like clean i don't want to say linen but like a spa like vibe to it as well that reminds me like of a zen type of like modern like beachfront uh hotel room is kind of what it reminds me of uh yeah it's just really delicious and awesome um it's like aquatic without it being too cologne and yeah that's pretty much all i can say about it i think i did a full review back when it first came out and i loved it to pieces i mean it was very strong too so yeah i just love the whole like blue color and everything of this uh totally snatched so yeah i finished one completely and it was excellent all the way down to the bottom highly recommend uh if you're doing an online exclusive if you're looking for a hot beachy aquatic very salty air salty water vibe without it being cologne um then this one's for you so that's salted ocean air right there love it um let's see the next one we have is the emerald waters but that one i do not have a backup of and i tossed it that one also like finished all the way down to the bottom i think it was really hot and city at the first half and then it dudded out mid-range but then i just kept let it going and it finally auto corrected and then it finished all the way down to the bottom that was also excellent uh that had like a slightly 
I want to say like a coconut melon aquatic juicy vibe to it. Like there's a melon component to it that made it sort of like juicy and fruity, but there was like a coconut water aquatic feel to it. It's kind of similar to that Key West coconut water and melon body care, um, but it's also very, very, very similar to the old pool party fragrance, which I also loved. Uh, and that one, yeah, so Emerald Water was just great all the way down to the bottom. There's like a sweetness to it and it's aquatic, but it's like a fruity aquatic fragrance rather than the cologne aquatic fragrance. And that one burned great all the way down to the bottom, like one once it auto-corrected and then it was fine like t towards the end uh, and that was also pretty strong and consistent throughout the way so that one's a good one too like that would be another reaper I would consider repurchasing that if that ever came out because I did really enjoy it but I still have two pool parties left so I probably don't need to rush into buying another one even if it did come back so there was that the next one we finished was a Pacific Ocean Air but that one already tossed so I will talk about the repackaged version which is the sea salt and balsam that I have right here uh, and this one's salted ocean air crisp coastal waves and oceanside balsam so fun fact if originally came out of spring balsam even though that one's a little bit different than sea salt and balsam in pacific ocean air very similar fragrances uh they basically take their fresh balsam fragrance you get that sort of sweet herbal balsam note uh but then it's mixed with a like salty air and a like grassy green vibe to it that makes it a little bit more spring appropriate and that first came out of spring balsam but i want to say spring balsam was slightly different that it was a little bit more floral and a little bit more grassy it was just like a different like ratio of the blends but still a very similar fragrance and i think was a precursor to pacific ocean air pacific ocean air came out that's the one that i finished that was flawless all the way down to the bottom uh that was such a strong massive thrill like at least a nine i want to say um and just like filled the entire space and it was great all the way down to the bottom so i had no issues with that uh but then it has been repackaged as sea salt and balsam as we saw I think was this last year yeah to that no this is 2020 um no this was 2021 because it was poured at the end of 2020 so yeah 2021 last year um and then it's out again in that sanctuary ceramics version with like t-rose right now so you can still get it so it's kind of like it's nice because it's like if you want fresh balsam but you want it to be a more spring and summer appropriate fragrance then they take fresh balsam add a green grassy vibe to it a slightly like floral salty air note to it and you get a like seasonally appropriate balsam fragrance to burn for spring and summer. Uh, love it. Uh, I think this version's not quite as strong as Pacific Ocean Air was, but still quite strong nonetheless. Uh, so there was that. So Pacific Ocean Air was the one that I finished and emptied for this week. And then um, obviously I'm talking about this version for the video. Uh, the next one we have I'm trying to finish is Palm Trees in Paradise right here. If it would focus though, uh, there we go. And that one had that lid on it. Uh, this was, I believe, last year as well. Summer Musk Refreshing Aloe, Bryce Siltris, and Eucalyptus Leaves. There was that, that Sunshine and Daydreams that also came out with this, and that Black Cherry Fruit Pop for SAS. Oh, and that Mint Chocolate Chip Shake, which, oh my god, that was so good, but I don't have a backup of it. Uh, this one's interesting so this one i really enjoy too it's very similar to like my salted ocean airs and emerald waters um it has a another like juicy aquatic water fragrance to it i guess it's that aloe in there and the citrus and there's definitely like a herbal eucalyptus vibe in there that gives it a slightly more like uh dry earthy herby herbal component to it uh but it comes together to just be like this really nice very once again like a spa like aquatic fragrance that i really enjoy i think spa like is the best way to describe it and there is a slight aquatic vibe to it as well that i really enjoyed it was really strong for the first half and burned great i think it was also very sooty but then it totally nubbed out mid-range but i love the fragrance so much that i put it on my warmer so you can see that the wicks have traveled there so i wouldn't ever like this one again uh but it's just as strong on the warmer too so we so we're good to go there so i actually really enjoyed palm trees in paradise so that one's another one i'm trying to finish and i just put on the warmer and complete it there the next candle we have is, I don't have that empty anymore because I already tossed it, but it was the this packaging version of the online exclusive of the Wildberry Jam Donut, which was from, was that fall time, I think? Uh, so this one reads, Sweet Wildberry Jam Powder Donut and Brown Sugar Crumble. The online exclusive version one did out like no one's business. Like the original one was really sooty, and then that one I tried because it had thick rope-like wicks and colored wax, um, and it was fine for the first half, and just like did it out royally at the mid-range point. Just started smelling so burnt and gross and spent, just like old nasty paraffin wax. It was nasty uh, so I put that one on the warmer and just let it finish there and then tossed it but uh, it is available now as this version um, and it's a great fragrance nonetheless before it like duds out and gets nasty uh, super just authentic realistic like powder donut uh, like you get like the yeasty powdery on the top of the like powder jelly donut it literally smells just like a jelly donut with a raspberry filling in there you get the raspberry seeds all of it it's great it's like has that also that brown sugar crumble fragrance that you find from like blueberry pie and iced blueberry biscotti or berry waffle cone if you like any of those and want like a very like predominant 
berry jam, raspberry jam donut experience, then check out Wildberry Jam Donut. Uh, this one burns very sooty as well, but it hasn't done it out yet, so there's that. So the version I finished was the online exclusive one uh, in this collection. Which brings us to the next candle, which I'm trying to finish, which is Lemon Lavender Shortbread right there. If it would focus... There we go, <laughs> um, that's what that looks like. Uh, this one is Sugar Shortbread, Zest and Lemons and Fresh Lavender Sprinkles. This originally came out of the test uh, collection, which I did not snag, uh, but then it came out in this version, so I was excited to see it because it got, came with really rave reviews. Um, and I like the smell of it on cold, but when it's burning, it's just very, very, very light. And my version had like a weird like Dorito, uh, like tortilla chip undertone to it that I didn't really love um, and it was just very light like no more than a three at any given point so I didn't like totally love it um, I could see the potential of it but it wasn't like this oh my god wow fragrance that I would purchase again because it was just so light and it had like a tortilla chip fragrance to it but um, it has a very awesome like lemon glazed shortbread fragrance to it like you really think of like a shortbread with like lemon glazing on it and there's like a crunchiness and a crispiness to that shortbread cookie that smells really delicious and there's just a very minuscule amount of a uh, like just fresh herbal lavender just like sprinkled on it, but it's not overly lavender. I would even branch out to say that if you didn't see the word lavender on this, you might not even necessarily go there. Uh, but there is a little bit of a herbal lavender in there that I actually really, really, really enjoy. Uh, but I could be biased because I have a very like floral leaning nose that I love the florals. So maybe somebody who's not so attuned to florals would really notice the lavender on this. But it's a delicious fragrance. I just wish it was stronger. And I wish it didn't smell so much like Doritos when I was going to burn it. So that was my qualm with it. Um, I was trying to finish it and then the wicks just like totally drifted all the way to the edge while I was burning it. So I don't think I'm going to be able to light this one up anymore. So I'm going to put it on the warmer and try to finish it that way. So that was my experience with Lemon Lavender Shortbread. The next two which I've been burning have been ones that I just did reviews on, but I'll just throw it in this video anyways. I've been trying to get through the Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz right here. Uh, just did a review on this. Honeysuckle Blooms Juicy Peaches and Orange Zest. Uh, just very, very, very similar to vanilla and peach tea. I just really don't get enough of a honeysuckle note in it. I was hoping for a lot more of that wild honeysuckle, honeysuckle bouquet, full on floral honeysuckle note just shoved in here. That's just really not the case. Just gives it like this buttery herbal component to it that I said reminds me of like buttered pasta with like a glass of peach spritz next to it. And that's kind of what the experience gives me. Um, it's also very similar to peach prosecco macaron. Uh, it's not a bad fragrance by any means. It's not offensive or anything like that. It's just under the pretense of honeysuckle, it's disappointing. It's still a good creamy, buttery peach fragrance that I, I enjoy on its own, but just not as a fragrance that's supposed to have honeysuckle in it. So that was honeysuckle and peach spritz right there. Uh, light to medium throw. We then have the other one that I've been trying to uh, burn through and I already did a review on, which is Blue Sky Breeze right here. And that's what that looks like. This one's also one of the new ones. Morning Spring Air, Fresh Violet Petals, Crisp Gala Apples, and English Ivy. Uh, yeah, very much a clean linen type of fragrance to it. Similar to Laundry Day, but not quite as strong or intense, but it's still a very strong fragrance nonetheless. Uh, once again, it's more of a crisp, cool linen fragrance rather than the warm, fluffy, pure white cotton Sea Island Shore type of fragrance, which is also linen sheets as well. Uh, this reminds me more of, I think it was the old school fresh linens that had a melon apple and like linen note in it. This one also has apple in it. I also get a slight like melon skin fruity component to it mixed with the apple. And then you get a fresh, clean floral. So I think fresh linen might be the one that's similar to this but I can't uh, confirm that 100% because I just haven't smelled that in forever uh, but yeah fresh clean linen fragrance is pretty much what this is once again not offensive um, and very pleasant but it's just nothing groundbreaking just kind of like a run-of-the-mill dime a dozen kind of linen fragrance but uh, it's kind of nice because I normally don't purchase these fragrances that it's kind of nice to just like break up what I usually burn with something like this so I don't I don't totally mind it it's kind of nice on like a like early morning type of burn so that's blue sky breeze right there uh, lastly, we have three Homeworks candles that I've been either finished or trying to finish. Um, and I've been trying to finish this hibiscus flower, which I hauled a while back. I think I found this at TJ Maxx, was it? Or Marshall's for $17. Uh, the notes are covered up by the, uh, barcode, so I can't read them for you. But, yeah, this one's almost done. This was a quick burn. I feel like I, like, this just, like, disappeared in a hot moment. Uh, this one's just all right. Um, I love the label and everything. I just love the like the aesthetics of it, but the fragrance was just kind of there. Kind of like gives me Glade like Hawaiian breeze vibes. Kind of slightly air freshener ish. Um, you just get a heavy, heavy 
uh, nectarine slash apricot type of peach stone fruit presence to it. It's very strong and this is like kind of sweet and nectary mixed with just like this very generic like uh, nondescript floral fragrance that kind of smells like an air freshener. So that's why it kind of gives me like Glade Hawaiian Breeze and I think the like label also lends to like that mindset as well. Uh, that it was just all right. Uh, it was just a little bit too fruity for something that was called a flower fragrance. Um, I was hoping for something more along the lines of like Tiare Sunrise which is more similar to like the BBW Plumeria something or like even like more of like a not necessarily like gardenia but something more like heavily floral is what i was expecting rather than such a sweet like peachy apricotty type of nectary fragrance with just a hint of like an air freshener floral in the background uh just very light to medium throw for me and that's how hibiscus flower uh performed so yeah total one and done and definitely don't need to repurchase uh, I finished a key lime pie, and this is the backup version that I still have. Uh, it was the Three Wick USA version in that darling green uh, packaging there. Fresh lime juice, fresh lemon, sparkling ginger, coconut custard, pie crust, sugar cream, and vanilla bean. Uh, yeah, so the USA Three Wick version, it burned down great down to the bottom. These burn significantly slower than the Four Wick versions that we're used to now, so just keep that in mind if you do ever burn some of these Three Wicks. They take forever to pull out and forever to finish. Uh, that It was definitely a slower burn towards the second half of the candle. Like it took a while for it to finally finish. So I was kind of glad it was over with. But this is the excellent key lime pie fragrance. Uh, definitely superior to the weird key lime macaron that smells more like Windex cleaner and just like old paint mixed with like old lime cookies. Not good. Uh, but key lime pie was the original one that I feel like is much superior. You get a super juicy, just bursting like lime juice and lemon type of fragrance mixed in there with a slightly toasted coconut sweetness just like riding underneath it. Uh, and then you get a graham cracker pie crust note. It's not overly buttery and it's not overly prominent as you would expect like a pie crust note to be in a BBW candle, but still some type of like bakery action chilling in the background. Um, and then a slight creaminess from that like custard vanilla bean fragrance that's in there. And it's just simply delicious, it's excellent. It's an awesome like realistic key lime pie fragrance uh, that I loved. It was, I would say always just a medium burn, but then it really, really, really got weak and light on the second half for some reason, where it was just like hardly detectable towards the end that I was just like, let me just finish this candle because I can't really smell it anymore anyways. Uh, but otherwise I bought a ton of these when they first came out because I really love them. So that was the key lime pie from Homeworks right there. Uh, I would recommend if that came out in a four wick. And then I also, lastly, finished a limoncello cupcake, and this is the back backup version I have of that one. This one's still out in four wick. Um, this one is limoncello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, sparkling sugar, creamy vanilla, French butter, and baked cupcake. Oh my God, friggin' delicious. This one's also a slow burn, but once it gets pulling out, it's like super strong and just excellent all the way down to the bottom. Um, once again, a very much slower burn that took a while for the candle to finish, but I loved it so much that I kept burning it. Uh, I bought like multiples and multiples of these when they first came out too. Uh, a similar like limoncello, like sugared lemon zest experience to the BBW limoncello fragrance is what you get, but it's mixed with the most decadent, delicious like vanilla cupcake buttercream aspect afterwards that's so delicious that it's like a warm bakery fragrance that's also still clean and refreshing and uplifting it's a perfect combo that i love so much because you don't get like ever sick of it because the balance of the two are so nice between the fresh clean lemon and also the warm like cakey bakery element the balance of the two are so great they never really get sick of it or like choked out from it and it's just always so pleasant uh this version was quite strong and i just always loved it so yeah lemon chill cupcake right there and I believe that is it. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll see if I continue going down this path, but this was pretty fun and it just gives me uh, an excuse to talk about the candles that I've been burning um, and maybe it will motivate me to like finish more candles as well. So uh, let me know if you burn any of these candles or if you enjoy these type of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.